Games and this is my first developer vlog about my development on Dangry Run, the f endless runner game that I've made and it's been released on the Google Play Store a couple of days ago um, but it went up for review a week ago um, so it took a while for it to be approved um, and since then I've been making a lot of changes so if you download the game now um, currently the 28th of January 2021 you will see a different layout for the menu so you will see a load of buttons in the middle of the screen it wasn't the best setup but it's what I had at the time and after releasing the game I realized that I should probably have different languages for other people to read because I only speak English and I barely speak English um, and getting the languages right has taken some time um, I've been using a online uh, Google Sheet for indie developers um, which I can show share in the description below um, please make a copy of it um, and I've been using a unity plugin called lean localization so what you do here is you create your translations or phrases down here and then it creates a, a game object for those and then you can ins you can add different languages so I've got seven languages at the moment um, so Spanish English German French Italian Portuguese and Japanese um, so you create these game objects down here and then let's just open up a panel a help panel for example so all of these different bits of text have a lean localization component which is a script and you choose your phrase from the list left for example which is uh, the phrase down here so if I change my game my language in game to Spanish it will appear as this I'm not going to pronounce that because I will totally butcher it so let me just play the game and I will show you an example so we choose Spanish a little save icon there which is better than before because it said saved um, and I couldn't get all the translations right for that word so I just changed it to an icon which is universally easier to understand um, so if I go into the control panel which is here you can see that all the text now is in Spanish so in development terms it didn't actually take that long to implement this um, so you just pick a different language and just go to the options screen so here it's all in German now here it did say um, sound volume and music volume but I have changed those for icons um, which is easier for people to understand as well maybe those that don't speak any of the languages that I've got in the game um, and the language will be saved every time you load the app so it will, you don't have you shouldn't have to click a different the language every time you load the game so um, and also if I stop playing the text will be in the la last language saved so if I play again let's go back to English because I am an idiot and cannot read other languages so, so now all of my panels now have icons mostly icons instead of text and the buttons that you use are actually icons so you got play button your statistics so that will be your last score and your high score the settings so you can set the volume the music volume sound volume and how fast you want the game to be um, 
you got a character select menu. Let me just show that one. Here, so you've got, you can just select a different character skin. Let's just pick that one. So then when you play, you will have your little skin there. Um, and this is the game. Now it is a lot easier to play on desktop than it is on a phone by swiping. Um, I'm not actually sure what speed I set the game at. But yeah, you collect your coins, speed up, speed down, and then. As you can see, I have um, some dummy ad slots. Uh, the top one here is the Unity banner ads. Now, when I've actually tested this on my phone, <laughs> these banner ads, they don't actually, and if nothing appears, it doesn't fill. Um, I don't know if that is because the game's not live, but it doesn't even fill with a test ad, which it should do. Um, and I found that the this uh, ad mob ad down here Oh, a little, uh, little fun. That's not a bug. That's a feature. Uh, so you see, like a Google ad here, which is from AdMob, which was easy to set up, and the test ad fills every time, which is, uh, which is great for testing. Um, so yeah, that that's my updates for my game. Um, let me just press play again. And, uh, just so I've got the score there that will be appear in different languages as well. So, and the options menu, just symbols. Let's go home. Let's change to German. So if we play now, you see, you can see the uh, score, best score. Now the the German and French uh, language translations actually came from the full-time game dev community um, from uh, a course that uh, Thomas Brush, a YouTuber and game developer, has um, started up, which I joined at the start of the month. And it's been really interesting. It? It's a great community. Um, everyone's super polite and helpful. And this is the start of my journey into making independent games. Uh, I uh, hope you download and play the game. I hope you enjoy it. And if you have any questions or features that you might like to see in the game, please let me know.